What is up guys welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be going over the trailing stop order in Robinhood. So you've probably seen this but just never used it before and actually a lot of people use it and this is going to be people that day trade and swing trade uh, because you tend to make a lot of trades and you want to minimize uh, your losses. So this is going to allow you to make as much profit as possible while minimizing losses. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Robin Hood here so I can really show you how this works. So as you can see here, I do have a TNT pulled up and uh, I own 16 shares at a market value of $488. So let's pretend I was day trading a TNT and I didn't wanna lose money because sometimes you see a stock go up by let's say 20% in an hour and then the next hour it goes down by 40%. So now you've, you could have sold it at 20%, but you didn't. So now you're at a loss. So this is going to help you avoid those types of situations. All right. So let's go ahead and click where it says trade and we're going to click sell because we're trying to sell. All right. So you're going to want to go to the top right corner and click where it says shares. And this is going to give you these options, right? You want to go to the last one that says trailing stop order. So click on that. And Robinhood does a great job of giving you a little description here. And these do uh, help sometimes but sometimes they're just a lot more confusing but I like looking at the graphs that they have because I'm a visual learner and it makes more sense so as you can see on the graph you can see that um, there's a stock price which is in green and you also have the trailing stop price so that's going to be what you set which is going to be the trailing stop price so this is going to pretty much follow at and let's say you set it at 5% it's going to follow at and at that distance which is 5% as soon as at and goes below 5% it's going to go ahead and sell but if it goes up the 5% and it'll keep going up keeping the same distance so that was pretty fast but i want to show you a good example by actually doing it so i'm gonna go ahead and click where it says continue all right so if you look on the little description on the top it says a uh, trigger a market sell if a tnt falls below its highest price buy all right so the first option here is going to be setting the trail stop price by uh, a percentage right which is some some people like percentages some people like dollar signs so if you click the drop down here, you see that you actually have the option to set it using uh, a dollar amount which is what i like doing but I'm going to show you how to do both. All right. So let's say at and as you can see, the current price is $30. All right. Let's say we set our trailing percentage at 5%. So this is going to give us an initial stop price of $28.50, right? So that's the difference of 5%, right? So if at and goes below $28.50, it's going to go ahead and do a market sell, which is pretty much selling the stock. But if it goes up, it's going to keep that same 5%. So I'm going to show you this doing using dollar signs. So let's say we switch this to uh, the dollar amount let's say we say it's five dollars right so as you can see now our initial stop price is twenty five dollars which is the difference between thirty dollars and five dollars right we have twenty five dollars so if at and goes down to twenty five dollars it's going to go ahead and sell so now the question is what happens if at and actually goes up it never goes down let's say it goes up to thirty five dollars so now our new initial stop price is going to be thirty dollars because we're keeping that difference of five dollars right so thirty five minus five gives you thirty dollars so our uh, initial stop price is going to be $30. So that is pretty much how it works. And uh, this is going to be different for every stock. Some stocks jump up by, you know, by 20% every minute, which is normal for them because of the volatility. And you also have stocks that barely jump maybe by 2%, which would be the most they could do in a day. If you're trading something like Tesla, you probably need to set your initial stop price to something a lot higher. You can do maybe a 20% or 10% or something like that, right? Because that is normal for Tesla to jump up 20 percent in a day now if you're trading something like uh, coca-cola which moves about five percent in a day you don't really need to set a crazy amount you can set something like maybe five percent something like three percent uh, something like that so that's going to depend on the stock so that is how you can minimize your loss like i said before if you see your stock going up by you know 20 percent 80 percent 90 percent and you want to capture most of the profit because you think it might crash you know like maybe the next day or in the next hour so you can set a trailing stop or Order. this is going to follow the stock and as soon as it breaks your initial stop price it's going to go ahead and execute and that is going to allow you to minimize your loss you're only going to lose a certain percentage and you know how much you're going to lose because you're the one that sets uh, the actual initial stop price so that is pretty much it for this video let me know if you have any questions below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace